In that Sabbasava Sutra, the Buddha points out that the normal person thinks, did I exist in the past? How did I exist in the past? In what way did I exist in the past? Will I be existing in the future? In what form will I exist in the future? Do I exist now? It, in what form do I exist now? In other words, the normal person is thinking in terms of the past, present and future. And that way of thinking confirms the idea I exist. And if you hold on to that idea, I exist, you will never be able to gain freedom from suffering. In other words, to be thinking of karma and rebirth, is to be unable to gain freedom from suffering. And then the Buddha points out the Arya Savaka, the disciple of the Buddha, doesn't think in that way. He is only thinking what is suffering, what is the cause of suffering, what is the ending of suffering, and what is the way to end suffering. If he begins to think in that way, that person's Suffering will come to an end. Why is this? This is something very important to understand. What this means is that karma and rebirth is a fact that the Buddha has seen through his own experience. Yet, <coughs> if you keep on thinking in terms of karma and rebirth, you cannot gain freedom from suffering. If you want to get freedom from suffering, you have to start thinking in a different way. And that is to avoid thinking in the existential way. Now, that is the important thing to understand. What do we mean by existential way? To exist is to see think in terms of an existence 
of a subject and an object. We are all the time thinking in terms of a subject and an object. When we go to learn the English language, we learn the subject, the object and the verb. The subject, the object and the verb. That is the normal way of thinking. That normal way of thinking, if continued, you cannot bring suffering to an end. That's what it means. So we have to get out of that way of thinking. So to get out of that way of thinking, is to think in what is called the experiential way of thinking. Now what is that? The experiential way is to see that what we see or hear or smell or taste or touch is an experience. Seeing is an experience. Hearing is an experience. Normally we think I come first And you, or the object, comes and I see you, or the object. So that means the subject and the object comes first, then the subject and object meets and the subject sees the object. That is how people think. But that is not what it is. The seeing comes first. And it is in the seeing that the subject is created and the object is created. It is in the process of seeing that I come into being. <clears throat> and the object comes into being. When that is properly understood, then the idea of Existence disappears. It is only when that idea of existence disappears, you are free not only of existence, you are also free of what is called death. If you don't exist, how can you die? That is awakening from the dream of existence. This is why the Buddha is called Buddha, 
Buddha means one who has awakened from the dream of existence. 